Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video series of Unix for tester, um, the manual concepts and how we can automate all those manual concepts as a part of our test automation, I'm going to talk on uh, how to create a Unix instance on Google Cloud which I'll be using it for my practice purpose. Okay, so if you already have some Unix instance which you are using in your organization or if you have a, a Linux machine or if you have any virtual machines set up on your Windows environment, that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and use that. But if you do not have any of these, uh, the better way uh, rather than using virtual machines is to use uh, any uh, virtual machine on cloud platform okay so in this case i'm going to use google cloud platforms okay so i'm going to show you how we can use uh, google cloud cloud platform for creating a unix instance and which we will be using for our practice in the whole this video series okay so uh, the first step is to log into console.cloud.google.com let me switch to my chrome and let me log in console cloud.google.com here i am and as soon as i log in i see some uh, my home page okay but if you are doing it first time you will not see that if you are logging it first time you might see uh, let us see console.cloud.google.com and let us say i am going to log in first time okay so Okay, so even I have it here. Give me a second. Let me log in with another email ID. Okay, so here I have uh, used this ID first time for logging into console.cloud.google.com. So if you're doing it first time, very first time, you will see this kind of uh, prompt. Okay, so I'm going to click on I agree and I'm going to click on agree and continue. You may uh, read all these agreements, terms and conditions. And next, you can, you need to sign up for this free trial which is for 12 months with three three hundred dollar credit and whenever you use any application like let us say if you're using any vm or any cloud storage cloud sql or any uh, engines like kubernetes engine you're going to deploy something or anything like uh, whatever components you use on uh, cloud they are going to charge you for that okay so for this first three hundred dollar uh, google is not going to charge you anything because they have given you a free trial and uh, let us try it for free now so you need to fill up for some form okay i have selected my country i clicked on i agree and continue and in the next now it is asking you to fill some information okay so you can go ahead and fill this information and you can fill your card detail and click on start your free trial okay it will start your free trial do not worry they are not going to charge you uh, even if your 300 dollar get exceeded they will ask you for your confirmation and then only they are going to charge you if you do not want to continue you can go ahead and delete your car, uh, card details from there that's fine okay so let us say now you have created the cloud platform account okay and i want to create a virtual machine instance what i'll do is i'll go to this navigation menu three lines you see on the uh, left hand side top i clicked on it and i will be going to compute engine okay so in compute engine i see an option called vm instances i clicked on vm instance and now i'll get an option to create a vm instance okay so i'm going to create a new vm instance now i clicked on create button and i just need to fill up some information let us say uh, name of my instance is unix instance or unix only that's fine and what else okay so you can select your machine type 
since I'm, I'm not going to do any uh, heavy processing on my this particular VM instance, I'm going to select the macro service with one CPU and 0.6 of GB of memory. That's fine. And you can see uh, how much they are going to charge you. Okay, so this, this charge is uh, going out of your $300. Okay, so you need not to worry. Okay, so fine. And here, what OS you want to install on your VM instance? By default, they offer Debian, but if you want to do any uh, other OS, you can go ahead and change it. Okay, I'm keeping as it is. I do not want to change it. That's fine. Now, I'm accepting this firewall terms and I need to do some security. Uh, give me a second. And okay, so uh, let us say I want to connect to this particular VM instance via external uh, tools. Like let us say your... Uh, putty or vnscp then in those cases i need to provide this ssh key okay so for now in this video i'm not going to provide this ssh key because in this video i'm not going to show you how you are going to connect your uh, putty uh, with this particular vm instance that we'll be talking in next video so we'll, we'll do this part in next video fine so for now i'm just going to click on create and this will create a new vm instance for you okay so uh, it's in process you can see the instance creation is in process so as soon as the instance gets created it will assign some external ip for you okay so by using that external ip you're going to connect with external tools okay so let us wait till it gets connected it won't take much time So all over this course, I'm going to use this particular VM instance as my Unix terminal. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's still loading. Okay, now you can see the green tick, that means my instance is running okay so the instance is created successfully with the name unix and it has some zones where my data is going to reside though it is your uh, cloud but definitely it has some uh, servers somewhere okay so they are situated in this us central one region uh, it has some external ip so i am going to use this particular external ip in order to interact as i said with other tools okay and you can see some option to connect over here okay so you can connect it in a browser window itself you can use another sss tool by using gcloud but for using this gcloud you need to have cloud sdk installed so we'll not be talking about these things so we'll be uh, uh, in this video i'll show you how we can work it in browser window but we'll not prefer this we will use the ssh client which is my putty and vnscp okay so we'll be talking about this ssh client in next video for for now let me click on open browser window and now it will open a unix terminal so it is just connecting now this time it will not ask me which host i want to connect what's the username what's password is there any ssh key which i need to use nothing it will not ask because we are directly connecting it from this particular instance so it is taking all those details and now you can see i am connected to the vm instance okay so here you can see my username is aec underscore prakash and my machine name is unix okay so if i do any command over here it is going to work like i'm trying my what is my present working directory it is home slash ac dot prakash okay so this is how uh, you can connect with the unix instance on cloud okay but the way which we will be using from our next session is by using another ssh client which is with the help of putty okay so we activated uh, we saw how we can activate a trial account on gcp services and we created a vm instance under compute engine and we are good to go for your practice okay so that's it uh, let's meet in next video where i'm going to talk about uh, how we can use putty and vnscp in order to interact with your vm instance that is your unix terminal thank you